Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering. Here we have Andy on Omnitel and John on Eureka Tell. If you are a fan of Leaving a Legacy, these are two indistinguishable decks. We've got a Fetch Land. Finding probably another tropical island. Eureka Tell makes great use of Veil of Summer, so all the green mana is very welcome. You're potentially going to be backing up a Eureka with a Veil of Summer, so you know, triple green or more, totally fine. Usually playing a playset of the Tropical Islands, though there's some pressure now on the mana base thanks to the Seagate Restoration and Mystic Sanctuary, uh, both cards that merit uh, some level of examination. I mean, it's not entirely clear what the optimal way to build this deck is. Now, one of the problems with this matchup is the first person to cast Show and Tell uh, I mean, may just be losing on the spot thanks to the presence of Omniscience in the decks now. It's a it's a real issue. Omniscience completely changes these type of matchups because, of course, if you have Omniscience, you can then Cunning Wish and just win the game at instant speed. Even if your opponent has a Gristlebrand or an Emrakul, uh, you may be able to just go ahead and win. Though Gristlebrand, very, very strong, giving you access to potentially multiple counter spells with that initial seven cards that you'll be drawing. Very often, you'll end up in a situation where they activate to draw seven, and then you can respond, and then they can draw the other seven. So lots of lots of interesting interactions that can happen. John May find him out self in a situation where he's looking to hard cast a gristle brand even like that is technically a thing you can do you do have lotus petals and he's just going for it show and tell let's see how this plays out Andy actually throwing a force at it. John has a Veil of Summer. And now we've got a Cunning Wish, likely for Flusterstorm here. Oh, Pyro. Fair enough. Red Elemental Blast. Going to go ahead and stop that original. Oh, no. Force of Will pitching Omniscience. Veil of Summer draws a card for John. Show and Tell now going to resolve. We have a Gristlebrand versus a Gristlebrand. Andy's going to get an untap step, though. This is no bueno for John. Going to go ahead and mark the check mark for Andy. I'll take it down if I'm wrong. Pretty sure he's going to win on his turn. John's already... Has John not played a land? I mean, I guess he could get Ancient Tomb and a Lotus Petal and do another show and tell. But this is not a great situation. It's almost like you'd want to have like Snapcaster Mage in your deck for these type of matchups and just get some value at some point and just beat them to death with a 2-2 two -two, or a 2-1. The Dillion Click. Jace the Mind Sculptor, actually. That's that's what I would do back in the day. I had a couple of copies at the most. Uh, usually just one, sometimes two. But Jace was a totally valid win condition in this type of matchup that doesn't give you... You know, give your opponent a free gristle brand, for example. So Andy able to draw seven. And put in a sneak attack. Oh, he's not going to be able to activate. Oh, we got force of will. Andy's going to draw seven. I mean, we could be pretty confident that he couldn't have activated it at the time. Kind of an interesting 
some interesting decisions here. You know, if that had been dazed, for example, he would have felt really bad about not digging to find a lotus petal first. Especially if there's multiple petals. And Gristlebrand turns sideways. John drawing some cards. And Gristlebrands are, are trading here. Well, you know what? I guess that was a very premature check mark as Andy did not manage to win on his turn. He was not able to defend that sneak attack. A lot of cards go into the bin. Not really sure what the life totals are. They should be each plus seven from that final Gristlebrand clash. They did draw a bunch of cards. And another show and tell. This time, John, with nothing to back it up. Brainstorm for Andy. No additional mana. And Andy is totally cool with this. Now we've got an Omniscience versus a Sneak Attack, and John is actually in really good shape now. Emrakul, trigger, extra turn. Going to put in a Gristle Brand off of Sneak Attack. Not sure what this is going to accomplish, as he doesn't have an Omniscience of his own. This Gristle Brand will go away end of turn. And you're not going to likely do anything about a Emrakul that is uncounterable. And, yeah, shame. Emrakul followed up with Ponder. I mean, it feels like John can just go to his turn in attack. I'm not sure what I'm missing. Gristlebrand's gonna go away. End of turn. Prior to discard. So Gristlebrand should be gone now. Right? Yeah, sneak attacks at the end of each turn. Looks like they had some technical difficulties there, but back for game number two. John actually getting that check mark. Crazy game. And he got a lot of advantage out of things, but now we've got a carpet of flowers. That card can potentially allow for the hard casting of Gristlebrand. And, yeah, we'll see. This is going to be interesting. I mean, you usually don't want to be the one casting show and tell, though Omniscience does change that. If you have Omniscience, casting your show and tell is not like suicide, per se, but certainly the stronger lines of just... or not stronger, the the weaker lines, I guess, objectively, of just, like, tossing in a Gristlebrand or an Emrakul super early. Uh, those are very, very dangerous in this type of matchup, as your opponent could very easily win. Now, it is possible that they won't have anything useful to put in. They could certainly keep a hand uh, that has, you know, a bunch of cantrips in it, but, you know, those hands usually will only be good enough to keep if they have a bunch of counters, so... There is that. Either a bunch of counters or a bunch of combo pieces. Andy so far making as little 
value for this carpet of flowers as possible. He's got a couple of ancient tombs. And now sneak attack. What will John have to say about this? Going with the hard cast days. Mandy does have a land on board. John's going to fetch in response. Now for Tropical Island. And a Veil of Summer being tossed out there. Interesting. Well, Veil of Summer, if it resolves, isn't going to be super spectacular here. Days can still have the one paid. Paying the one doesn't counter the days. And now playing a land, putting in an Emrakul, and that is it for that very quick game. As Sneak Attack proves to be very, very important in this match. Does give you a way to actually win without giving your opponent that free permanent. Alright, final game. Barring a draw. I suppose any match of Magic could go on for an extended period of time thanks to draws, but that is unlikely here. Ponder for Andy. John's got that tropical island so far this does feel as a big proponent of eureka tell this does feel like a very challenging matchup due to the presence of those sneak attacks on the other side of the board those can just really help out a lot on the other side Veil of Summer doesn't really line up amazing versus Sneak Attack, so I mean, if I had to guess, I would say that the deck running Sneak Attack would be favored in the mirror. But having that full playset of Omniscience is pretty significant. Makes your opponent's show and tells very likely dead. Boseju, this can force the issue with your show and tells, but again, Show and tells a card that you you might even sideboard out. I mean, I probably would if I was playing Omnitel. I would probably be sideboarding out my show and tells. At least in part, if not all of them. I mean, just win off of the sneak attacks. Eureka Tell could very easily just kill you with their omniscience. Show and tell for John. He goes first. Pair of omniscience. And this is just a tense situation now. If both players have Cunning Wish, the one that flinches first wins. Cunning Wish. But both decks actually have Emrakul as well, so that's that's kind of complicated. Now we have a Pyroblast, presumably targeting the Omniscience. John with just two cards in hand. Andy did not need the key combo piece of Show and Tell. Veil of Summer. That will potentially draw John a card. Force of Will. Another Veil. Cunning Wish. Oh, what... What discipline. And he grabs the Fire Mind's Foresight. That gets Cunning Wish Impulse and Brainstorm. And now... Let's see how Andy opts to proceed from here. There is the possibility of John finding Emrakul. 
and winning the clash. So we got release the ants, brainstorm, and release the ants number one. So it's going to go to the bottom. And will John find the Emrakul? This is just going to keep happening until John is dead or he finds an Emrakul. There's his own Release the Ants, a card that you often sideboard in in this matchup. Or in, in many matchups. It does give you the ability to use Firemind's Foresight a bit more elegantly and work out of some difficult situations. Omniscience, close, but no cigar. Now stacking up cards. These are on the bottom of the library, but this does give a bit more of a paper trail, so to speak. All right, there's the Emrakul. So release the ants. Let's not get the job done. Now force of will. Force of will resolves. Countering a veil of summer. Oh, Veil of Summers are actually resolving. Wow. What a crazy situation. There's a Cunning Wish on the stack. Emrakul in John's hand. Does he have... like a Nature's Claim in his sideboard? People have been running the two mana return to nature. The disenchant plus the ability to get rid of a card from a graveyard. Nature's claim would actually be strong here, but this is this is just not gonna do. He grabs a veil of summer, draws a card, but Andy's gonna be able to just draw and cast Emrakul. Go to his next turn and swing for the win in an entertaining but chaotic matchup as Omnitel takes it down in three. That is all for this one, but don't worry, there is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Ball Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.